Hello friends and welcome to this fourth episode on understanding cataract a complete guide. I hope my previous episodes have really helped you in understanding this disease which is the most common disease which is curable. Just a quick note as to the format that I'm following in this series. In case you missed my previous episodes, I've been interviewed by a famous YouTuber called Aparna Ganesh. So she has got a few questions also in this episode and I will further give more details on those questions by individually answering them and interacting with you. So far, I have done three episodes about cataract. And the previous episodes actually explains what is a cataract. Now from today's episode, we are going to shift to the management of a cataract. I hope all these episodes will be useful to you. In case you have any doubts regarding this, feel free to write in the comment box below and so that I can get back to you and clear all the doubts and myths that you ever had about this very common disease called the cataract. Today's episode is everything to do about management of a cataract. Is there really any alternative to surgery? And I want to clear all these doubts and myths that you ever had. So let's get into this and dive in. I'm Dr. Kumar, doctor from Dr. Rai Institute and welcome to this channel of iLogs. It's all to do with vision and clearing all your doubts you ever had about vision. Now if you recollect, my third episode was everything to do whether cataract can be prevented and I cleared all the doubts and the myths that you ever had regarding that topic. Of course, we know the answer to this is no, but we can delay the onset or we can slow the progression if we know the risk factors and then we can handle those risk factors that may help you momentarily. If you haven't watched my previous episodes on cataract, please do so. I have shared all the links in the description box below. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel of iLogs, please do so. And please hit the bell icon below so that every time I release a new video, you get a notification. Coming to the today's topic of managing a cataract. There is no other treatment except surgery. But still, for your better understanding, I'm going to divide this topic into two segments. The non-surgical approach and the surgical approach. Now, both these terms are quite self-explanatory. Of course, we know that surgery is the only answer as far as management of cataract goes. But we can minimize some symptoms temporarily uh, with different options, which I'll tell you as a non-surgical approach to the management of cataract. Don't forget that although this is temporary. So what can you do under non-surgical management of a cataract? One, yes, you need to change your glasses. So get your glasses rechecked, change your number, that will aid you temporarily. The next option, of course, is to wear sunglasses when you drive. So that will prevent extra light from entering your eye and that will give you better sight for driving. Another option is, of course, to use visual aids like a magnifying glass. Uh, if you want to read really small print, you have a cataract, you haven't got operated. So that will again temporarily aid you to solve that problem of inability to read small print. So these are few options which are the non-surgical approach. But don't forget, friends, that this is temporary. So when do we decide that yes, surgery has to be done for a cataract? When your daily activities, very simple, like watching television, crossing a road, your inability to drive at night. So if you drive at night, the headlights disturb you. You start seeing colored halos. You start seeing double. So you start facing these problems. That's the time, yes, you need surgery for a cataract. And also, I get regularly asked in my clinic, are there any natural remedies to prevent progression or halt the progression of a cataract. So one very funny question came last week was, if I walk on grass, will my cataract prevent progression? No, my friends, it doesn't help. If you have more carrot juice, will it prevent your cataract from increasing? Does it really help? No, my friends, it won't help. So recently, friends, I got another very funny question from a patient saying that I've been watching a lot of television uh, because of the lockdown and I've been seeing a lot of digital devices. Uh, you think that if I had reduced that number of hours, my cataract would not have progressed? 
So these are the questions I get on a daily basis and believe me friends, none of this is going to help you either prevent progression of cataract or halt a progression of cataract. So now let's go to my interview with Aparna Ganesh and let us see what she has to ask about this topic. So Dr. tell me what is the right time to opt for a cataract surgery? How do you really understand? Can you just guide on that? This is very frequently asked that I have a cataract but I can still see why should I operate? Mm -hmm. Okay, the next question comes is I have a cataract. I know I have a cataract but I can't drive at night. Should I operate? Mm -hmm. So yes, if it affects your normal lifestyle, is the right time to affect and do the surgery. Okay. But remember that the more you delay your surgery, let's presume that in January 2020, you know that you have a cataract, you looked at it, you know about it, and you don't come for five years. What's really going to happen? Your number keeps changing, mm. okay? The cataract increases slowly, mm. and it's a reality that as it increases, it gets harder. The harder it gets, it's difficult to operate. Right. And that's the reason why previously we used to say, let it mature and then come back. And now we say, when you know you have it, do it. Do it again. Because the results are excellent. That's wonderful. So essentially, the cloudiness in, in layman term, in a way that we would understand, the cloudiness around the eye or whatever section of the eye increases and you don't want it to completely become more opaque. So you just take care of it as soon as you discover it. Correct. Right? I think now, your doubts would be really cleared that you can only delay your surgery till a point where it really hampers your daily activities and you have no other choice but to go ahead and do the surgery. So I also get lots of questions in my clinic by patients saying that I'm already 87. Uh, what happens doctor if I don't get my cataract done? Aparna too asked me this question and here's what I had to say. But what if, like you said, you you know, you don't, it's not hampering your lifestyle in any way. Does it have like long lasting irreversible consequences if you don't do the surgery? It seems to be a major surgery. Um, uh, not really. It is a surgery, uh, firstly. And yes, it is considered a major category. Uh, if you don't operate, all happens is that the cataract increases and it gets harder. Mm -hmm. So it's not that you're going to go blind. But there is a condition where the cataract becomes immature, then it becomes mature, then it becomes hypermature, and when it becomes hypermature, it can burst. Mm -hmm. Now, if it bursts, mm -hmm. then the antigens that come out can cause a reaction in the eye. And that's not good. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, that's not good. That doesn't sound good. You have. And that's the reason why we say, if it is ready, please get it done. Yes, friends. So what you heard was right that cataract does impact your daily activities and your vision. It can reach a stage where it can burst and if it bursts, it becomes a painful blind eye and it's even more difficult to treat. So if the cataract is untreated, after it becomes a mature or hypermature cataract, uh, it can lead to total blindness and more difficult surgery. And that's the reason why an early intervention, that means an early surgery is always advisable before you reach that stage. I did mention three terms in my interview with Aparna about the stages of maturity of a cataract. So let me take a few moments to explain to you in depth as to what it really means. So as described in my episode one, the cataract is actually the denaturation of the protein that is there in the lens. And that's what makes it cloudy. And that's the reason why our vision gets affected. So what are the stages of maturity of a cataract? So cataract can be classified according to the maturity level of it. There's an immature cataract, there's a mature cataract, and there's a hypermature cataract. So an immature cataract, the protein has just started to get cloudy, and this makes the lens partially opaque, and that's the reason why the vision gets affected. The second possibility is a mature cataract, where the opaqueness increases so that the whole lens gets opaque, uh, the center as well as the periphery, means the side of the lens, it may become white. So sometimes when the vision completely goes and if you look into the patient's eye and it appears like a white dot, it may mean that the patient has developed a mature cataract. That means the cataract is completely uh, matured and needs immediate surgery. Then comes the stage of a hypermature cataract. It means it's become dense, it's become hard and to a significant extent, it would have impaired the vision of the patient. Now, these cataracts 
get more difficult to operate. In a hypermature cataract, we may find that one of the layers, which is the front part of the lens, which is called the capsule, may have shrunk. Uh, the cataract may have become a little thinner because there is a leakage of the substance of the cataract. So this is one fear that we have in a hypermature cataract. I hope this cataract progression timeline makes you understand the importance of the timely treatment that is necessary for this curable disease. So friends, this brings us to the end of this fourth episode and we can conclude that yes, surgery is the only alternative for the management of a cataract. Stay tuned in because the next episode is going to be very interesting. In the next episodes, I'm going to cover as to how cataract surgery has really evolved over the number of years and what are the latest options for cataract surgery. So stay tuned and look forward to the next few episodes in this series of Understanding Cataract, A Complete Guide, a topic extremely dear to me.